My name is uh, Kenyon Kluge. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I'm the team owner and rider for K Squared Racing. I'm also the team manager and rider for Zero Motorcycles Racing. If you want to find out more information about me, you can look at my website, ksquaredracing.com, or for more information on Zero Motorcycles, go to zeromotorcycles.com. And now I'm going to talk to you about motorcycles. Picking a motorcycle can be uh, kind of a confusing thing and some somewhat uh, bewildering for people at first. Um, so uh, here's a, a couple quick guidelines of, of how you should go about picking your motorcycle. Uh, first, you should pick one that's appropriately sized for you, both uh, for, for your size, uh, so physically uh, not too big or too heavy, um, as well as, as not too powerful for your riding ability. Um, you should pick something that, uh, that you can easily handle and you're gonna have fun and learn on. There's a lot of good bikes out there for beginner bikes um, from like a few 254 strokes uh, that are really good for smaller people um, and then there's a ton of great 600s out there uh, that are really rider friendly. Um, so you know decide, decide about the size you're going to get both power wise and physically um, and then decide what style is best for you whether you like a sport bike or a supermoto bike. Um, just a standard upright bike or uh, like a, a chopper or, or cruiser style motorcycle. Cosmetically you should uh, pick something that maybe doesn't look the greatest right away. Chances are pretty good that maybe in a parking lot you're going to drop it or um, you're going to rub it up against something uh, in the first few months that you're riding. So uh, don't be afraid to get something that doesn't look great but um, it, it rides well. Also, don't be afraid to get something that's not too expensive. Uh, I think that if you're just choosing your motorcycle, likely it's your first motorcycle, and uh, I think your, your needs are gonna change uh, after you've been riding for um, six months to a year, and so you might uh, not want the same type of bike that you picked originally. So don't pick something too expensive, something that you can um, trade in and, uh, and move to something that, that's more desirable uh, after you've gain some experience and some time on the bike.